So obviously the valley line is built to move people. But did you know, during the design phase, the highest ranked criteria was actually land use? Yeah, this is a rail line that's built to encourage development. Let me take you on a tour. And as you can see, construction is already ongoing. It starts in downtown, and we're gonna tell you how the traffic is impact as well, because Jasper Avenue is actually not touched. The tunnel starts before Jasper Avenue and goes right down the hill coming out above the river. When it crosses the river, they're gonna keep three lanes on Connors Road. They shifted the tracks just 10 meters south to ensure that minimal space is lost in Gallagher Park for the Edmonton Ski Club. But at the top of the hill is where it gets most interesting, I think. Instead of going right down Connors Road, which would be the fastest way to get to Bonnie Dune Mall, they swing due east on 95th Avenue. That's to go right by the Strathern Heights development. Then when they get to 85th Street, they go straight south, again for development. It goes right by the Hollywood stop. Then they'll cut across 83rd Street to land right in front of Bonnie Dune Mall, another site that's ripe for redevelopment. Of course, picking this route also lets them stay out of that tricky traffic circle. And then by crossing to the west side of 83rd Street, they make a much easier crossing for White Avenue, staying out of the way of all those cars trying to go into downtown by making a right there. They go through the residential neighborhoods on 83rd Street, and then they actually come up above traffic before they cross Argyle Road. They stay elevated as they get to the Davies Station, and then they actually stay elevated even as they cross 75th Street. The tracks won't touch 75th Street at all at grade. That's gonna be another big thing for the truck traffic going up and down there. The train will be able to pick up speed as it heads south down 75th Street, or right alongside 75th Street, where it goes right past the maintenance facility, which is gonna be where that amusement park was. You remember, just above White Mud Drive, just north of White Mud Drive, where you could use those go-karts? That's gone, it's gonna be the maintenance facility. Then they take 66th Street straight south, have lights at each of those major crossings to help people get out of the neighborhood, and then cut east on uh, 28th Avenue to get to the Millwood stop. And that's another development opportunity. If you're counting, that's five if you include the quarters. The track cuts down the east side of 66th Street all the way down, and the designers tell me each of those major intersections will have a traffic signal to help the residents get out of their neighborhoods when they cross the track. But then at the bottom, something interesting happens here, if you're looking at a map. When they go to turn east, they actually cross the road so that they're going on the south side of 28th Avenue. Again, this is a development consideration. The site there that is most ready for development is the Rio Can site at Mill Woods Town Center Mall. They've already applied for rezoning with the city and they're set to go ahead. We'll see how quickly.